My name is Jeffrey Leroy Bodine. And I'm a serial killer. Well, it all started when I went Sasquatch hunting. Sasquatch season. Oh, oh, there we go. There's one. Park Ranger Stan Johansson, and I was walking through the park one day. I remember it was a July, July warm afternoon in 1994, and I, I thought I saw a dead body. So I went up to it, and there was a dead body. So I immediately called the authorities. Oh my God! I think he's dead. We got ourselves a killer on the loose. This is a job for the FBI. I arrived at the scene uh, and I found out after uh, numerous accounts of searching the scene, found the bullets and I found fingerprints on the bullet casings. So that, that was part of a lead. Locked and loaded, baby. Going to check out the crime scene. Crime scene on where we found our first victim. Uh, we found right here a bullet casing in which the suspect must have dropped when claiming his body. Over the past four years, we were hunting this guy down. He killed 17 more men. Gruesome. They all looked the same. They all died in a position like a Sasquatch. And it, it had us completely abounded. We did not know what we were doing. We were looking for a killer. For whatever reason, killing that man filled every desire that I've ever had. The forget Sasquatches, I'll just shoot that. using sine, cosine, tangent, and other mathematical devices, I was able to pinpoint the killer's location, his Sasquatch sand, if I might add, in which there I found the gun and other bullet casings, which uh, corresponded with the ones I found at the scene. This must be his hideout. What is it? A gun? And a shell that matches the crime scene? Hey, who's out there? I'll get you. Now we got to the chase. This was the... <clears throat> so we got into a chase. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. All right. So we got to the chase, and this was the most fulfilling moment of my career. Exciting. But there we were, going solid 35 miles an hour through a neighborhood. Oh my gosh, there he goes! Goodness gracious, his gas cap is open! He came to a stop sign and I noticed his gas tank was open and I thought that it was just dangerous to be driving like that so uh, I promptly jumped out and closed it. We shook hands, I got back in my vehicle and continued the chase. He stopped! He ran out of gas! Time to get him. I found 
him, tackled him, read him his rights. He is now in a penitentiary prison. Well, they got me. I guess I feel bad about it.